You okay? Hi ho friends, Naomi here. As of filming this, it is Monday evening. It is quite late and I realized that I'm supposed to put out a video every Tuesday. I never promised anyone that I was gonna put out a video every Tuesday, but that's just kind of been my pattern. I'm in my jammies, I'm on the couch, I have my big blankie, I may or may not be wearing pants. Tune in to the end of the video to find out. <laughs> but seriously, I'll let you know. Okay, so where are we? This is, this is number four on the album, Good Riddance to Bad Rubbish. It's called Earth Give Way. Let's see. Let me just get to my, let me just get to my lyrics. This one is not snarky at all, like a lot of the other ones I've written. My first nephew was born. He was born um, very dramatically and traumatically. We didn't know if he was going to make it. We didn't know if he was going to um, have seizures for the rest of his life. We didn't know if he was going to be a low functioning individual. Um, we were all very traumatized, especially my sister and her husband. There was nothing we could do or say to change the situation except like pray for God's grace to heal this little boy. Of course, we were all questioning things like, why did this happen? What if this would have been different? The doctors assured us that it was just a fluke thing that no one could have predicted or changed or prevented. There was no room for being brave. Um, it was all just, it was a mess. We were all a wreck. I, I felt like this ever so tiny, small cloud of, of grace was overshadowing the situation and it was hard to feel sometimes, but I, I knew he was going to be okay. That's the first verse, and come to find out, we were right. He hasn't had any issues whatsoever. He's an extremely high-functioning, <laughs> adorable little four-year-old boy now, and he's, he's awesome. The second verse is about a friend that is near and dear to me. We would always talk together about um, our struggles and our hardships. And uh, even though we really loved each other a lot, we butt heads constantly. <laughs> I mean, not like badly. It was fine. So that's what it means when it says our beats don't match, but I like the way it sounds like our, our hearts. Our hearts weren't always beating the same for the same things. We were very different and we clashed a lot, but, um, but I liked it. It wasn't super easy being friends with him, but it was always worth it. At that point in time when I was writing the song, I was just like surrounded by people that like had a lot of crap going on in their life. I physically couldn't do anything for them. Like I just had this like mental picture in my head all the time of us all being on like this battlefield and all my loved ones were around me hurting. None of them had protection. They were all like about ready to be swallowed up by harm. And I felt like I needed to be the one on the front line. I needed to be the one that the enemy would have to get through first before they even had a chance to get to the people that I loved. I don't know, this song is just like my desperate battle cry of being completely helpless. <laughs> I don't know, it's just really hard for me to accept that um, sometimes there's nothing I can do. It's really hard for me to feel powerless. This is one of my favorite songs on the album. I love it because it's closer to the style of writing that I used to do when I was a lot younger. It's pure, it's organic, it's vegan, it's gluten-free, free-range even. A lot of the album I did myself with Casey. There's a couple songs that my bandmates joined me in. Um, and this is one of them. My bandmate Aaron and my bandmate Mike, uh, they played on this song. I don't know, I just like the way we all sound together a lot. It makes me so pleased to hear us all together. It's so special to me. It's special to me is what it is. That was all way too serious. I want you to go to my website, naomi.band. I want you to check out my album, Good Riddance to Bad Rubbish. 
and you can listen to it for free or you can buy a copy and you can hear what that song was all about. I would also really appreciate it if you would share this video so other people can know what this song is about and so other people can hear the glory of this song. I can say that because I wrote it. Wait, that means I shouldn't say it. Whatever, I like this song. I can be cocky about it. I like it. It's a great song. I think you'll think it's great too. Give it a chance. That's all. I love you. Bye. Oh, I forgot to tell you. Ready? Yes. I'm wearing pants. You're welcome.